Hello. Hello there. How are you this evening? I'm doing quite well. How are you doing? I am on the edge of my seat because we had a cliffhanger last week. I don't know how the yeah. story's going to end. Well, let's recap here real quick. We know last week that the new Tor Emperor, uh, two of its principal members, Anthony and Octavian, pursued Caesar's assassins, Brutus and Cassius, to the eastern regions of the Empire, and are now have battled them in their first battle of Philippi in northern Greece. It was a bit of a split victory on the north side of the Via Ignata, uh, one of the great Roman roads. Brutus defeated Octavian when his forces charged Octavian's camp prematurely, while on the south side of the road, Anthony's forces crossed through a nearby marsh to catch Cassius unawares and flank him in an attack. In the confusion, Cassius thought the Brutus' forces had also lost, so he committed suicide. So the battle is pretty much a draw. Brutus wins on his side of the road. Cassius loses on his side of the road. Both forces withdraw to lick their wounds and to regroup. So now we're going to catch up to them about three weeks later. In this time, the Triumphant's forces have had their supply lines cut. Their naval forces have been routed, so they're not getting supply. So Brutus is more than willing to wait them out. However, the forces under his command, eager for more battle, begin to desert. In the meantime, Anthony extends his lines to the south and to the east and attempt to slowly flank Brutus. So Brutus has to extend his lines to blunt that. So he's very overexposed to the east. Finally, after a few key desertions, Brutus just has no choice but to give battle to Anthony and Octavian. The battle is very bloody and very brief. Both sides pretty much forego any ranged combat and just get straight into hand-to-hand -hand combat. The exact numbers aren't really recorded in this battle, but it's believed the casualties were very heavy on both sides. As Brutus's left flank was extended, that was the weaker flank, and that allowed the triumphant forces to punch through the center and catch Brutus in his flank, where he was doing very well on the right flank of the battle, crushing Anthony's forces on that side of the battlefield. However, once he got flanked, with the collapse of the center of his battlefield, he was caught in his flank and eventually around from behind. Brutus and his forces then retreated to a nearby hill as his camp was already cut off. And once he retreated, realizing that surrender and capture was inevitable, Brutus commits suicide. As I said, this was a very, very brutal and bloody battle, but exact figures for the losses aren't recorded, although they were likely very heavy. This battle is a little bit famous. This is the setting of the fourth and fifth acts of Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare, but this does mark the end of the Republicans, and this is the high watermark for Mark Anthony as far as generalsmanship. Eventually, this new triumphant is going to fall apart and give way, and Octavian, who is the adopted son of Julius Caesar, will take the name of Caesar Augustus, and he'll become the first Roman emperor. That sets the stage for tonight's battle. Why don't you tell us what we're fighting over? Well, as I recall, you are exactly correct. The, the show is not over until, until James Mason's Brutus falls on his soul, right? Yes. <laughs> that, that always stood out to me. Well, let me pull up the War Council for tonight. It seems like it's uh, meat, potatoes, bread, and butter. Uh, looking over the both sides' armies, it's you could tell there's simulating the fact that there has been depletion on both sides. One through attrition on Anthony's and Octavian's side, but clearly Brutus uh, doesn't have much to work with. So let's see what our war council will say. Uh, I will be taking the Republican army for the first game. I will have Brutus as my leader. I believe he is my one and only leader. So there's a challenge. Uh, I will get five command cards, but I will get to go first. Peter will take the triumvirate. He will have two leaders, Anthony and Octavian. 
he will have five command cards as well. So we are staying on equal footing that way. This is another seven banner bread and butter battle tonight. Uh, and we also have, just like last week, the camps are out there. If you occupy the camp and and are there at the end of your turn, essentially, then the next player's turn, as soon as that starts, it reverts into a victory banner for the occupier. We have Julian legions for both sides, of course, because we are all Romans here. And the four hills are marked as impassable, so... Got a nice little obstacle there. I'm guessing this is much like last at Philippi Part 1. Those were on the uh, Roman right. So now we have kind of moved into the center. And then it looks like the, the remnants of the ramparts there that Brutus has before him. And by popular demand, in a vote of 3 to, to none, last week I asked you to put your comments down in the bleep bloop comment section of YouTube there about whether or not you liked seeing my cards or not seeing my cards, and overwhelmingly, yes, you guys like at least seeing mine. Unfortunately, again, you only get to see mine, not Peter's. But uh, that lets you do some of the armchair general that you enjoy so much. So, uh, starting back tonight, I will show you my hand throughout all of the games. Well, maybe you know, should put our heads together and figure out a way to maybe see the game from my side once in a while. I think we should do that. We'll swap it out. Um, okay, well, then I am going to draw up my cards, my five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. I have them. And I have my five. And uh, let me be the first to wish you good luck. Thank you. You're going to be the only one wishing me good luck. <laughs> well, well, yes, you're the first. Well, and only. Right, 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 right. Well, I got a handful of crap. And they all get to see that now. So, let us... But see, they get to see the magic of how you you turn that hand of Drek in, into Command and Colors Gold. Drek it may be. Let's activate two units on the right to get this started here. And we will activate these two horsemen... And then we we'll go one, two, and one, two, and three. So, we'll have some cavalry action here on the flank. The medium cavalry will threaten your lights. What would they like to do? I think I'm going to stand. Okay. You're always very, very good about that. Uh, I can almost depend on it. So here are three dice coming at your lights. We Oops, that was a mistake. Take three of them. But and I get one back. That's right. Okay, and then these other horse will attempt to finish them. What would they like to do now? Well, now they'll evade. Of course. All right, so here's... Uh, with no chance of a follow-up attack, here's three dice looking for a circle. And we wipe them out. And first blood has been struck, and that is all. Okay. What are three units on the left? Okay. So the mediums will try to engage your cavalry. What will they do? Nice. So you got the hit. Boom, boom. And they go there. All right. Cavalry on cavalry. Three this dice. Could be ugly. Or not. No, it's ugly. It's ugly. One hit and a retreat. Okay. Now you can advance and battle again. Hmm. Does seem pretty risky. Advance plus one battle again. You've talked me into it. Well, two horses Three. for the price of, you know. So here we go. Three dice. See? Worthwhile. Perhaps. 
Sure, I fall into your trap. Me? Trap? Pshaw. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use this card, since I only have one heavy troop. Activate. Move forward to assault. Yond Legion there. Uh, so, five dice plus leader. All right. Here we go. Uh, that is three hits. And a retreat. And a retreat. You want to follow up. I... Try to finish them off. Let's think about this out loud. So I move up. That horse comes forward. Blocks that way. That blocks that way. If he moves two. I play my double time. I surround you. Exactly. Anthony comes up with his heavy forces. Well, it, it, it it's brutal. It it's is brutal. brutal and bloody. So, so Brutus, you know, we, Brutus is prudent, and he he will not do that. He will just stay. Okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. I will go ahead and play my double time. <laughs> of course. Activate those units. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hmm. All right. Not going to take the rampart, huh? No. Why would, why would I need to? Uh, put you up there to attack another one. I just want to take out Brutus. I see. Okay. Anthony is of limited vision. All right. So mediums with leader support against your heavies. Four dice. We go. Go. Two hits. Two hits. And a retreat. Well, let's see if I have to take that retreat. Oh, Brutus is fine. But we will take the retreat. Okay. Now, if you had taken that, that means... rampart, you could have taken another shot at me. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, now it's time for you to take your shot. Mm -hmm. well, we will do leadership any section. That's a good shot. Yeah. Oh, I see. See what you're doing here. Okay. Choking my path with with the uh the chaff. Yes. All right. All right. So we're gonna do that to there. Oh yeah, I can't evade that. So, so here it comes. This three, is gonna be rough. Three dice plus leader bonus. Two. Ouch. Come back at you with three. I did one, two. Okay. And oh, now here's an interesting choice. Yeah. We're gonna do that. Okay. So we're gonna do two dice plus leader. Getting a hit. Leader hit. All right, battling you back with four dice with leader, but you've got the protection of the rampart. Indeed. And look at that, the rampart protects you. Yep, take one hit from the leader. Ignore the sword. Yep. There we go. And we will not battle with the next one. Okay. Well, do this and activate those two units. What would those lights like to do? Evade. Okay. 
five dice. One hit. Okay, we'll do leadership any section. Oh. He's going for it. Okay. We'll start with this. Oh, oh. Three dice. Cav on Cav. Gets the wipe out. He advances. Moves one additional. Goes after these guys. Now. Th three dice. Gets it. Okay. Um, let's see. They can advance into that space. So they will. All right. Um, Brutus from the ramparts there. Go after these guys with five dice. Plus leader. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Feeling froggy, Brutus? Um, no. In fact, not feeling froggy. So he's going to be a little conservative. And he will stand right there. He's had a pretty good turn. So Pretty good. Yep. Pretty, pretty good. Well, that came as a shock. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Flanked those units. I think he's going after those lights. Uh, they'll leave eight. And those mediums will go after Brutus. Okay. Nothing. All right. Uh, five dice back with leader. Sends them two away. Ooh, take all three. I think it's time for a mounted charge. Always time for a mounted charge. <laughs> and there's always room for jello. So let's we'll start with this one. What would they like to do? Elevate. Okay, so here's four dice looking for green circles. Getting one. It's good of aid. Okay. And over here, this one will go after your mediums with four dice. Get two hits. I got you with four dice, two hits, and a retreat. Okay, well, look at that. Get some back to the baseline. One, two, three. I guess that was effective. Hello. Hello. Five dice. Well, Rampart to protect you as I'm yeah. catching you in the flank. That's right. Go for Here it. Here I go. I'm going to roll my five dice. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Oh, so close. Brutus lives. 
indeed. We shall darken the sky with our arrows. One. Didn't, two, didn't you listen to me? They forego any ranged combat and strictly battled hand to hand. I'm just, I can't hear the history part properly. All right. I'll start with this one to here. And I was hoping you wouldn't take the rampart, but Jiminy Cricket advised you to do so. All right, so here's the first one. But I'm on the other side of it. So no, I got... know, I know, but I mean, just if you had stayed here, then you would have. Oh, you could have suffered gotten... that one too, oh. and that one. But you moved, gotcha. so oh well. All right, so here's two dice. Well, I was I was more afraid of the of the blue one coming after me. Sure, but sure. yeah, dark in the sky is just as dangerous. Well, maybe we there's... saw. All, well, we saw last week it used to great effect. I like whittling and a plinking. All right, here's the first two. Nothing. Here's the second two. Yay, we got a hit. See? See? All right, here's the check on Antony. Did you come here to bury Caesar? No. All right, uh, and then over here, I'm going to do two dice from this one to this medium here. So first volley. Oh, that would be great. Second volley. Nothing. Okay. And then from here, same target. First die. Nothing. Second die. Hey, we got one more hit. And that is all for Dark in the Sky. Three on the right. Those three. One, two. You could move him one and still throw a spear. Okay. There you go. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, we move five medium troops. Mm -hmm. Those five. So these two will go... One, two to there. Instead of this one, I'm going to activate this one down here. He is going to stay there and attack. And go there and there. Start down here with cavalry. On your lights, what would they like to do? They'll stand. Stand. All right. Attack. Send them away. We will pursue and try to run them down. Another three. Nothing. Retaliating. Send us away with you. We'll attack here. Medium on medium, four dice. <gasps> wow. wow. Goodness. Indeed. Now, that was unexpected. Mm -hmm. All right, and these guys will just throw their short spears at Activian. Go for the horse hair. One die. Nothing. Okay. And these guys, oh, they both move too, so they cannot attack. All right, back to you. These guys will throw a spear at that medium unit. Most effective. These guys will throw at the same unit. These will throw at their contemporaries on the other side of that hill. And 
Octavian. The really big show. We'll target those guys. Five dice. Wow. We are here to be bloodied today. Activate medium troops again. Leave those lights alone. Come on. What did they ever do to you? These guys. Just throw a spear at Octavian. One die. Nothing. Okay. Uh, down here. Let's see if we can't finish these guys yet again. Three dice. One hit. They're made of stern stuff. Two dice back. Oh. Hit and a retreat. All right. And then... Start with our first punch here against Anthony. We'll have four dice plus leader bonus. Two hits. And oh, I must flee the battlefield. Let's see if, let's see if I uh, kill him. Oh. No, I do not. Okay, but you take both of them, right? Okay, cool. All right. And that is everything. Coordinate an attack. Evade! Alright. Anthony, five dice against the evading cavalry. Close! So close! Knotted up, folks. Once again. Alright. Now time for the grand finale. Not quite sudden death. Hmm. Until someone plays a line command. Order light troops. Or orders light troops. Equally devastating. Oh. Can't let Antony go, can you? <laughs> well, they were the only ones with mobility. Okay. We'll do this one first. Throw our spear, single spear from Brutus to Anthony. One die. Nothing. Second spear. Nothing. Uh, from here to here, lights on lights. What would they like to do? They will. Two dice. Double <clears throat> flags! And here, two dice on your medium cav. What would they like to do? You can't get that again. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're standing. Here we go. Two dice. Three dice back with leader support. Hmm. I, however, hit and And the second one will not attack. All right. Four units on the right. Mm. 
Okay. Five dice on those mediums. Starting with the big one. Yeah. I'll get him. Five dice against those mediums. Mm. There you go, sir. Well done. That was, uh, that was exactly what Octavian needed to do. That was a nail biter. That, that could have gone any way, any any direction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well done, sir. Oh, well done to you. You uh, that last minute clutch that was great. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at three center cards and four with the inspired center leadership. So uh, I was running out of possibilities here. I had three units on the left. That was my last gasp to try to utilize those mediums for something there. But uh, you pressed it just the right time, so that was that was very well done, very well done. And I only wish I could have clinched the deal on this one. Uh, and of course, the fact that these guys got away too is is unfortunate. But yeah, that was really good. Let's see if I can fare any better playing the Republicans after our five minute break. Okay. Yes. The question is, since we are back, can I do as well? is Senor Pedro here with the Triumvirate forces. I'm thinking maybe I can. All right, well, I'll let you draw your cards first this time. And good luck. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Let's see if we can't outflank you a bit. I'll still instill a sense of deja vu into you. <laughs> I believe that we, unlike you, are much more prudent and will leave aid. All right. Three dice. And those? They will also evade. Okay. Oh, Ooh, but don't, slower. Don't escape yeah. unscathed. Yeah, and sadly, must try that. So here's one die to see if they sing into the swamp. They do not. And here is one spite spear. Do a move, fire move. Ooh, fire move. Okay, just those are all your light units. Spear at that medium cav. Hurrah! Forming a human traffic jam, we hope, or an equine traffic jam. Yes. Uh, let's try that again. One spear. Uh, it's okay. We got a hit. <laughs> it would have been the same result either way. That's true. That is true. All right, and over here. Never seen some discipline to get a hit before. <laughs> ah, it's a blue triangle, whatever. All right, one spear at your lights around the hill with some English on it. Nothing. And finally up here, chasing those flanks, one die. Hooray! And for the 
the second part of this move. We'll go one, two, one, one, two, and one, two. All right, that is all. Activate four in the center. Hey, look, you got four. All right, we're going to do three in the center. Those three. with four on four. One hit. Hmm. Come back at you with four. Mm -hmm. Two hits. And a, and a retreat. retreat. Mm. Okay. More cavalry here. Three dice. More dice. Ooh, dice have gone cold for me. All right. That is all for that. Oh, actually, these guys can throw a spite spear at the rampart. One die. Nothing. Going to inspire leadership on the left. By inspire, I mean, I'm just going to move that guy. Will then proceed to throw a spear. And miss. I'm going to activate my heavy troops. Time to darken the skies. Ah, yes. That old chestnut. Will be our spear tossers. Let's see. One. Retreat. Boo! Two. Retreat. Ah, uh, they'll stand. Okay. Yeah. And one. Two. All right. And one, two, retreat. Nope. And one, two, boo. 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 <laughs> Activate center leadership. Center leader, will you choose? Those. Now this is bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is indeed. Between veteran forces. That was, I think I didn't mention that, but most of the forces involved at this point were just veterans because everybody else had deserted or died. Yeah. I'm going to do this one first. Uh, four dice plus leader bonus. Okay. Uh, hit. Leader hit. Four dice back. Wow. Out for blood today, man. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, this one will go four dice against there with leader bonus. Ooh. I guess I know who Octavian's going after. Yeah. And we'll attack here. Uh, four dice plus leader bonus. Excuse me, five dice plus five leader. dice. And we'll advance. Ouch. And go again. 
then? Hmm, yes, but you both are going to evade, so this one is the juicy Five dice. Yeah. So we'll do that one. What would they like to do? Evade, of course. So five dice looking for triangles. Getting a triangle. This guy's against here. Four dice. Just one. Four dice back. One. Two for tat. And then, oops, not that. Attack them. Four dice from these guys to finish off. Two more in a retreat. Commenced a Pelton. One spear. Two spears. Actually, no. Two spears. Lucky. Two spears. That being at the end. One spear. Oh no, a hit. All right. Let's do this. Get it out of the way. I'll get charge. Only one of them will get the effect. Move there. And they'll move there. And they will charge your cavalry with four dice. Getting one hit. Three dice back. Okay. Brutal. Three on my right. Those mediums with my mediums. Do a first strike there. Uh, okay. Four with leader bonus. Uh, one hit. Mm. And a, a retreat he must take. All right. Four dice there. One hit. And four back with leader. I want a spirit, Anthony. Nothing. I don't see Let's many do options it. going forward. Let's do this. All right. Do here first. Four dice. And one hit. And one retreat he must take. Learned like a rat. We'll scrap back and scratch your eyes out with two <laughs> dice. Get nothing. Um, here we'll do four dice plus leader. Move forward. Um, let's take Brutus 
Anthony to Brutus. Five dice on the wall. Leader bonus. Two hits. Here's our first leader check. Nothing. Five dice back over the wall. Three hits. Wow. And our second leader check. And the medium will attack Brutus in a second attack. Second wave. Four dice plus leader. Uh, one hit. Two. Oh, no, I could yeah, go. The rampart. Yeah, I got yep. for that rampart. Yep. Ooh. Cannot overestimate the importance of earthen works. All right, uh, here's the leader check. He's ooh, winged. All right, five dice back. Two. All right. Scrappy. Yeah. That's the sound of a man with no cards in that section. No, I've got... No, that's true. Nothing good, let me tell you. Lost too many of these already. Good choices, but <sighs> desperates, desperates times. All right, do something innocuous over here first. After those two, okay, three dice. Oh, a retreat. Feeling lucky. I'm gonna pursue an attack again. No. These mediums, these this cavalry over here will attack those mediums with leader support from Brutus. Three dice. Get the leader hit. I will return with four dice plus leader from Anthony. Uh, two. Right. Four dice there on those mediums. Over here. Cab on cab, three dice. Mm. Hit and a retreat. Go after those lights. They will evade that. Elevated. Eight medium troops. Oof. Okay. Let's Start with the innocuous, as you say. Do four dice. Just barely. Just barely. Uh, <laughs> you could clean up right here. You could do it all. Maybe. One swell. You could do it. Uh, all right, so three dice from Cav to Cav. Yeah, forcing him away. You could have done it. Well, let's do this. Advance. Move one. Battle again. Three dice. Mm -hmm. Two hits. Nothing. one 
here. Uh, four against your mediums. Got him. Do four against your lights. What would they like to do? Okay. Okay. Looking for green circles. Four. Getting one. And here. The big one. Seems a foregone conclusion. Yeah, and you don't get the rampart bonus. So here's four dice yep. plus leader bonus against Brutus. And we get him. There it is. Okay. Let's see and if. Brutus himself. One die. No. Brutus lives. Okay. And that is everything. Not quite. <laughs> Could I thought you would have got it all in one go. So. Well, I didn't expect that medium cavalry to squirt away. Yeah. So what is the best flailing attempt here? I think this might be the best flail. I'm willing to give you two blocks. I don't want to give you three. <laughs> I think you might get it. But we'll see. All right. Problem is, can't miss. Order of operations, critically important here. I hmm. uh, have to take the retreat. You got a leader, so you killed him. Uh, so Anthony, Anthony squirts, got away. Squirts away. Three. Okay. All right, and then over here, three dice on your cavalry. Hit and a retreat. Not enough. Oh, well. Good game. Well, it ain't over yet. I've got too many ones. That that that, that was the problem. I, there you, I've just got... Throughout this game, I've just had too many units with one block left that right. you well, let, can't... Let's see what happens here. Let's uh, do three units on the left. Be those three. We'll start here. Let's see if we can get three dice plus leader bonus. And we do. There it is. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, this one is uh, <laughs> Slobber Knocker, capital S. No two ways about it, because if you go all in, as we both kind of did, where you, you know, you sap your you you make effective attacks, but that is just leaving you so completely vulnerable on that line for the counterattack. And yeah. if if you don't kill them, that's yeah. But a good scenario. I really like it. I just uh, I I have no complaints. I mean, I, I'm glad that the first one was uh, you know for for reviewing the numbers here. The first one was uh, seven five Peter. And this one for me was seven four, so I think I take it by one tonight. Yeah, final score twelve to eleven. So that's pretty tight, but clearly overwhelmingly a triumvirate because they've got. I think with with the two leaders, that's obviously perk yeah, number one, and the two, and yep. they're attached to heavies. If you can get those heavies in there and just start push brooming your way through the main line, that's uh, that's death, total death. Yes, it is. This is an interesting one. The impassable hills really kind of almost render center cards a bit moot. Oh, boy, how do yes. Yeah. yeah. That's why I, you could see, I mean, I was telegraphing, too. You could see one's like, oh, I moved Octavian in there. I had a lot of center potential, but it was, you know, move two center, move three center, move leader center. And I was like, well, you know, I was going to try to sneak 
uh, this guy up into the camp. So I was that was either going to work as a feint or it was going to uh, I was going to I when I had that line of mediums all the way here. I was just going to do a, was a, a double march and try to just try to get up there and give you something to think about. So that was my plan. But then you uh, you made your big full offensive here coming down onto the ramparts. And at that point, when I saw the, you were suffering on blocks, then that's when I had to make the bold counterstroke. And hindsight, I probably should have used the the first strike on this one here when you attacked from there. But I just got impatient, and I thought, well, I'll see if I can bloody his nose and soften him a little bit. But good game, lots of lots of neat stuff in this one. Uh, on the surface, definitely meat and potatoes, seven banners. There's there's not a lot of to it, but you've really got to make your decisions as to uh, because of these hills here. I mean, you and I both did it two different ways. You really worked on this flank, and I started on this flank pretty heavily. And yeah, it just comes out of the cards. The cards, of course, right, right, right. Um, so what else? Anything? I think that's it for tonight. Okay. Well, uh, so after the Battle of Philippi, what happened? Well, as I said, um, this pretty much breaks the back of the Republicans. The triumphant will. Uh, They're going to all be friends seize. forever, aren't they? Oh yeah, super that, buddies. How these. That's how these things always work out. Yes, BFFs. Well, I think, uh, as we're going to see in our next story, that uh, I give it about three days. <laughs> Maybe four. Because then all of the personal grudges are going to rise to the surface like that wonderful farm-fresh cream that you would get in the uh, Campania region in Italy. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to see these guys... Eh, have a slight falling out because somebody called somebody's mother a donkey. I, I don't know, but it's all going to come down to something. But that's our next story. It and always does. It, it always does. We hope you've enjoyed this uh, wonderful second battle of Philippi tonight. Take a moment to uh, click that like and subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hello and welcome. You got the notification bell. We'll tell you when I drop these. Uh, it's starting to starting to become a regular event on Saturday mornings. I try to schedule these things. If I finish them up and I get them uploaded, I schedule it for 9 a.m. That seems to be a good premiere time. So 9 a.m. on Saturdays so is, is... Breakfast like, and commanding color. That's right. I like it. Get your Fruit Loops and watch how the Roman Republic falls apart before your very eyes um, like our Saturday morning cartoon exactly here I'm showing you our current uh, supporters we've got a few new ones this week and that is reflected here so thank you one and all for your monetary thank contributions you. yes they are certainly unexpected but we really appreciate when you uh, clink a couple shekels and denarii into see I used an ancient coin there uh, a couple denarii into the tip the tip jar as it were good, good point as a matter of fact, in this battle, both commanders were giving bonuses and bribes to their forces to keep them in line. Of course. So lots of denarii were being handed out before this battle. That's right. Until next week, then, tune in for our next big exciting battle when friends fall apart and other days of our lives here in the eastern part of the Republic. Because the Republic days are numbered, as Peter pointed out. Young Octavian is soon going to take on a new moniker, and uh, he's got bigger aspirations for the former Roman Republic. But that's next time here at uh, Commands and Colors Central. I'm Patrick, that's Peter. We hope you enjoyed it, and uh, good game tonight, sir. I can't wait to see you next week. Thanks, you too. Good night. Good night.